a disturbing video of a deadly Tesla crash in Guangdong, China went viral. The footage showed a Tesla appearing to try and park, but moments later erratically swerving back onto the road instead, accelerating uncontrollably until finally crashing into a building, killing two people and injuring three more in the process. The driver of this white Model Y Tesla, an unnamed 55-year-old, reportedly lost control of his vehicle and claimed he had an issue with the brake pedal as he attempted to stop outside his family store. The driver asserted that although he repeatedly attempted to apply the brakes throughout the few minutes of acceleration, the car's automated systems malfunctioned and a technical problem prevented him from stopping the vehicle. The Tesla crash in China's eastern city of Chaozhou killed a motorcyclist and a high school girl on a bicycle. Tesla has pledged to assist local police in investigating the fatal incident, but has denied all allegations that their vehicle or technology is to blame for the crash, citing both the footage showing no brake lights illuminated and their own data logs revealing no attempts from the driver to depress the brake pedal for the duration of the uncontrolled journey. In their own investigation of the events that led up to the crash, Tesla reported findings that it was in fact the accelerator that was excessively engaged throughout instead. This is not the first time Tesla's pioneering autopilot technology has been linked to fatal road accidents, nor is it the first time the automaker has dismissed implications of their own soft or hardware being at fault. We are now left with the question of who is to blame. Welcome to yet another thrilling and fun video. We'll take a look at what is causing the increase in Tesla car crashes. Stick around with us and subscribe to our channel for a library of incredible videos. Also, hit the bell icon to get notified about our newest updates. A lot of self-driving cars are under scrutiny as the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, has since ordered all automakers and vehicle tech companies to report timely and transparent notification of all road accidents that in any way involve automated or advanced driver assistance systems ADAS, within 24 hours. Of the 600 collisions reported since last summer, 18 have been fatal, most of them involving Tesla vehicles, two of which were reported to NHTSA between September and October this year. Since June, the agency has also upgraded its special investigations of 830,000 Tesla vehicles with defects. Fatalities and near misses linked to Tesla self-driving systems have been stacking up across the world for a few years, many of which Elon Musk's company has denied responsibility for or filed defamation lawsuits against. The first known death tied to Tesla's self-driving functionality happened in 2016 when 40-year-old Joshua Brown's Model S autopilot drove the car full speed into a white 18-wheel truck due to its sensors failing to distinguish the trailer against the bright sky. Brown was killed when the top of his car was torn off by the force of the collision. Three other people were killed last year in two separate Tesla autopilot crashes. Both accidents were caused by self-driving Model S cars veering off the road and bursting into flames after hitting trees. Both incidents raised questions about the fire safety of the car's lithium batteries, as well as its operating system, as reports revealed the possibility that at least one of the passengers was killed in the fire, rather than a collision, due to being unable to open their door. Tesla has shared condolences in relation to these tragedies, but the take-home message of their responses has mostly been about shifting blame. Tesla's autopilot is improving every day, but remains imperfect and still requires the driver to stay alert," Musk explained. In August of last year, an activist group released a report showing some Tesla cars in self-driving mode were unable to detect children on the road. This is just one video of a broader experiment called the Dawn Project to independently test Tesla car safety. The project is funded by Dan O'Dowd, a California software entrepreneur and billionaire who has often criticized Elon Musk, seeing him as the one responsible for Tesla's reckless, unsafe, self-driving vehicles. The Australian government also recalled more than 1,000 Teslas over a software calibration issue causing steering defects, meaning the Electronic Power Assisted Steering System EPAS, may not operate as intended. 
With Tesla's technology under increased scrutiny, the company has also begun cracking down hard on its critics for vocalizing concerns. Last April, at a Tesla auto show in Shanghai, a woman climbed atop one of the showroom cars to protest that she had almost died when her Tesla's brakes failed. She was one of two vocal anti-Tesla Chinese citizens who were later silenced and sued by the car giant. Zhang Yazhou and Han Chao were both forced to pay compensation and publicly apologize for making unverified, ungrounded claims that wrongfully tarnished Tesla's brand. As these reports of Tesla-related accidents have piled up, many have suggested the company's marketing strategy may be partly to blame. As amping up the automated functionality to a level that removes responsibility from drivers could make them inattentive and over-reliant on the vehicle's autopilot capabilities. Kevin George Aziz Riyadh is currently facing trial after crashing his Tesla Model S into another car in 2019, killing two people inside. On the face of it, Riyadh's expected verdict seems obvious, but given that his car was in autopilot mode at the time of the crash, the jury is faced with a difficult question. As law professor and expert in self-driving cars Edward Walters put it, who's at fault, man or machine? Tesla is not facing any criminal charges from the incident, but the nature of the crash has created space for much needed conversation on the philosophical issue of driver versus vehicle autonomy, a topic that's sure to surface time and time again as more manufacturers roll out autopilot and driverless features. This landmark case in California, the recent fatal crash in China, and many other incidences of autopilot-related road accidents all underline the urgent need for more clarity on the safety of self self-driving vehicle technologies. But as well as raising questions around autonomy, safety, and responsibility, these reports have also opened the door for consumers and autonomous vehicle corporations to debate who is more trustworthy behind the wheel, humans or technology. Tesla vehicles have accounted for nearly 70% of reported crashes involving advanced driver assist systems. According to statistics released by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, U.S. automakers have reported nearly 400 crashes in 10 months involving vehicles with partially automated driver assist systems. Tesla led the pack with 273 crashes, Honda was second with 90 reported accidents, and Subaru with 10, followed by Ford Motor at 5. All other companies reported four or fewer accidents, including Toyota at four, BMW at three, and General Motors at two. Driver assistance technology has grown in popularity as owners have sought to hand over more of the driving tasks to automated features, which do not make the cars autonomous, but can offer relief from certain physical driving demands. Automakers such as Subaru and Honda have added driver assistance features that act as an advanced cruise control, keeping set distances from other vehicles, maintaining speed, and following marked lane lines on highways. But none of them operate in as broad a set of conditions, such as residential and city streets, as Tesla's systems do. NHTSA disclosed that over 830,000 vehicles dating to 2014 use Tesla's autopilot and driver assist systems. Tesla crashes happened while vehicles were using autopilot, full self-driving, traffic-aware cruise control, or other driver assist systems that have some control over speed and steering. Tesla Autopilot is a suite of systems that allows drivers to cede physical control of their electric vehicles, though they must pay attention at all times. The cars can maintain speed and safe distance behind other cars, stay within their lane lines, and make lane changes on highways. An expanded set of features, called the Full Self-Driving Beta, allows maneuvering of city and residential streets, halting at stop signs and traffic lights, and making turns while navigating vehicles from point to point. Some transportation safety experts have raised concerns about the technology's safety, since it is being tested and trained on public roads with other drivers. Federal officials have targeted Tesla in recent months with an increasing number of investigations, recalls, and even public admonishments directed at the company. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, let us know by giving it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel for more interesting and entertaining videos like this one.